Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to form a differential equation from the given question. You see here, form the differential equation of d means differential equation. Form the differential equation of family of ellipses having foci on x-axis and center at origin. Here, generally to form a differential equation, they'll give the equation of the curve, but they not given equation of the curve here. First, by observing this statement, we need to write the equation of the curve. Family of ellipses means there will be so many ellipses. I'll consider one ellipse from that family. All that family of ellipses having foci on x-axis. You observe, I considered one ellipse from the family of uh, ellipses whose foci is on x-axis and center is at origin. Center is at origin. Now, our main intention is we need to find out what is the equation of this ellipse. In ellipse chapter, we already learned this. The equation of this ellipse is x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equal to 1. In this case, as foci is on x-axis, a will be greater than b. Okay. Now, I will write the equation of family of ellipses having foci on x-axis and center at origin. You see, the equation of the family of ellipses having foci on x-axis and center at origin is what is that equation that equation is x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equal to 1 you need to observe one thing here as the foci lies on x-axis here the value of a will be greater than the value of b okay finally we got the equation of ellipse now once you got the equation of ellipse, we need to form the differential equation of this curve, right? To form a differential equation of the given curve, we will remember these three steps. What is the first step? You identify number of arbitrary constants present in the given equation. Next, you differentiate that many times. In the process of differentiation only, we will try to eliminate the arbitrary constants. After differentiation, if arbitrary constants are eliminated, well and good. Otherwise, we'll use the third step. We will use any one of these things or any two of these things or we'll use all these three things to eliminate arbitrary constants. Now, you observe this equation. In this, how many arbitrary constants are there? You can see, we know that generally AB represents constants. Here, A is a constant, but we don't know exactly what is A. So that's why A is known as arbitrary constant. Similarly, B is also known as arbitrary constant. What about 2? Is 2 is a arbitrary constant? No, 2 is a fixed constant. First thing, you identified number of arbitrary constants present in this equation. How many arbitrary constants are there? Two arbitrary constants are there. Our main intention is what? We need to eliminate those two arbitrary constants. How many arbitrary constants are there? That many times we need to differentiate. As two arbitrary constants are there, we will differentiate this two times. First, I'll differentiate this with respect to x on both sides. d by dx of x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equal to d by dx of 1. What happening here? I am differentiating the given curve with respect to x on both sides. d by dx of this expression is what? Derivative of x square by a square plus derivative of y square by b square like this. You observe this right hand side. 1 is constant. We know that derivative of constant is 0. Now I will differentiate this. You can observe 1 by a square is constant. 1 by a square constant you write it outside. Now, derivative of x square with respect to x. We know that derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus here 1 by b square is constant. You take it outside. Now, d by dx of y square. We learn this in chain rule differentiation. d by dx of y square. We know that derivative of y square is 2y into as this is in terms of y, we are differentiating with respect to x, we will write here dy by dx. 
we already learned all these things in chain rule differentiation. So d by dx of y square is what? d by dx of y square is 2y into dy by dx. As we taken 1 by b square outside, d by dx of y square is remaining that is nothing but 2y into dy by dx equal to 0. Now what happened? One time differentiation is over. What is our main intention? We want to eliminate the arbitrary constants. What I will do here? I will write all constant terms at one side and remaining all other side by with a little bit of simplification. You see here we can cancel this two. Cancelling means just take two common here and you take the two to the right hand side. It will become 0 divided by 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0 only. Now little bit of simplification I will do in such a way that I will write all constants at one side. You see here. I uh, will take uh, 1 by a square into x to the right hand side. Then what you will get? You will get like this. 1 by b square into y into dy by dx equal to minus. Uh, you take this term to right hand side. Minus 1 by a square into x. As our main intention is I want to write all constant that's one side. I will take b square to this side and I will take x to this side. Then what you will get? You will get like this y by x into dy by dx. What I will do to avoid the confusion from now onwards I will write dy by dx as y dash. I will write d square y by dx square as y double dash. Okay. So y by x into in place of dy by dx I just simply write y dash equal to you take b square to this side then what you will get you will get that minus b square divided by a square. Now you can observe that all constants written at one side. Why we written like this? Because our main intention is we want to eliminate the arbitrary constants. As two arbitrary constants are present, we can differentiate this two times. One time differentiation is already over. Now I will differentiate this again with respect to x on both sides. dy dx of y by x into y dash equal to d by dx of minus b square divided by a square. Okay. Now you observe here d by dx of product of two things is there. So we use product rule. What is product rule? u into v dash plus v into u dash. v dash means derivative of v, u dash means derivative of u. You treat this as u and you treat this as v. Derivative of u v product rule formula apply u. u means y by x, y by x into v dash d by dx of y dash okay plus v v means y dash into u dash u dash means d by dx of y by x y by x equal to here minus b square by a square this is constant what is derivative of constant derivative of constant is 0 y by x into d by dx of y dash y dash means dy by dx what is the derivative of first order derivative derivative of first order derivative is second order derivative so d by dx of y dash is nothing but y double dash y double dash means d square y by dx square plus y dash into derivative of y by x we use u by v rule here what is d by dx of u by v see d by dx of u by v is v into derivative of u dash minus u into derivative of v dash divided by v square. So I will apply that formula here. This is u and x is v. So derivative of u by v is what v means x into u dash derivative of y d by dx of y. What is d by dx of y? d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx. dy by dx means y dash y dash minus v into u dash is over minus u u means y u into derivative of x derivative of x with respect to x is 1 divided by v square v square is x square equal to 0 now i'll do little bit of simplification here you can see here x is there in the denominator here in the denominator x square is there so what we can do here, we can take LCM x square. If I take LCM x square, what you will get here? Here you will get x in x square x times x into y into y double dash 
plus x square in x square one time correct so what i'll do here i just multiply this whole expression with y dash then what you will get x into y dash into y dash is y dash whole square minus y dash into y is nothing but y into y dash equal to zero now you take x square to this side what will be remaining x y into y double dash plus x into y dash square minus y into y dash equal to zero finally what happened we eliminated arbitrary constants a and b so this is the required differential equation of family of ellipses having foci on x-axis and center at origin now we will do one more problem related to same type i request you to pause this video and you try the solution for that problem your own after completion of that solution you check the answer here you observe this problem form the differential equation of family of ellipses having foci on y-axis what is the difference between last problem and this problem? In last problem, the foci is on x-axis. In this problem, the foci is on y-axis. Correct? So much similarities are there for this problem and previous problem. Last problem, it is the ellipse having foci on x-axis. Here, it is the ellipse having foci on y-axis and center at origin. In ellipse chapter, we learn this vertical ellipse equation. What is the equation of this ellipse? x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equal to 1. In this case, a value is less than b. That equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So finally, we here you can observe that this equation and previous problem equation is also same. But only the difference is in previous problem a value is greater than b and in this problem a value is less than b. Once you got the equation to form a differential equation you know that we remember three steps. Step 1 you identify number of arbitrary constants present in this equation. Step 2 that many times you differentiate to eliminate arbitrary constants. In the process of differentiation only, we will try to eliminate arbitrary constants. After differentiation, if arbitrary constants are eliminated, it is well and good. Otherwise, we will go to step 3. In step 3, we will use given curve or dy by dx or d square y by dx square to eliminate arbitrary constants. First, observe this equation. How many arbitrary constants are there? two arbitrary constants are there. A is arbitrary constant, B is also arbitrary constant. So we can differentiate this two times. So I'll differentiate this with respect to x on both sides. d by dx of x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equal to d by dx of one. I'm just differentiating given equation with respect to x on both sides d by dx of x square by a square plus y square by b square is nothing but d by dx of x square by a square plus d by dx of y square by b square. I am just differentiating each and every term here. d by dx of y square by b square. What is the derivative of 1 with respect to x? We know that derivative of constant is 0. Here, to dif while differentiating this, you can observe 1 by a square is constant. So you take 1 by a square outside. Now derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x plus 1 by b square. Take it outside as it is a constant. This problem solution and previous problem solution both are same only. Okay. Derivative of y square with respect to x is 2y. As here y is there, we are differentiating with respect to x, we just simply write dy by dx. We learn this in chain rule differentiation equal to 0. Our main intention is I want to eliminate arbitrary constants. To eliminate arbitrary constants, I'll write all constants at one side, remaining all other side. You can observe that this 2 and this 2, I'll take common and I'll take that 2 to right hand side. 0 by 2 will become 0. So this 2 we can cancel here. Now what I'll do, I'll take this 1 by a square into x to other side. What you will get? You will get that 1 by b square into y into dy by dx. 
If we take this 1 by a square into x to this side, this plus sign will become minus 1 by a square into x. Now I just want to write all constants at one side. So I'll take x to this side and b square to this side. Then what you will get? You will get this y by x into dy by d equal to minus b square divided by a square. Now you can observe that all constants are at one side. Our main intention is we need to eliminate this arbitrary constants. To eliminate these constants, I'll differentiate this with respect to x on both sides again. As two arbitrary constants are there, we can differentiate this two times. One time differentiation already over. Now I am differentiating this again with respect to x on both sides. d by dx of y by x into, see here dy by dx, I'll write it as y dash to avoid the confusion. Both are same only, dy by dx is same as y dash equal to dy dx of minus b square by a square. As two arbitrary constants are present, I am differentiating this with respect to x again, second time. Now you see d by dx of this one, product rule. Use product rule to differentiate this. Yes, u into derivative of y dash. Derivative of y dash is what? y double dash plus y dash into dy dx of y by x y by x equal to here minus b square by a square is constant derivative of constant is what derivative of constant is zero so little bit of simplification i'll do here y by x into y double dash plus y dash into d by dx of u by v in previous class also we done same type d by dx of u by v is what v into d by dx of y d by dx of y is nothing but y dash minus y into derivative of x with respect to x is 1 divided by x square v square x square equal to 0. You can see here in the denominator x is there here in the denominator x square is there. So you take the LCM. What is the LCM? LCM is x square. Then what you will get here x in this x square x times. So when we simplify this, what you will get in the numerator x y into y double dash plus x square in x square one time. So one into this whole expression. Okay. So what I'll do here, I'll multiply this y dash with this expression. What you will get? You will get that x y dash into y dash that is y dash whole square minus y into y dash equal to zero. Now. You see here arbitrary constants are eliminated or not eliminated? Eliminated. Little bit of simplification is possible here. You take this x square to this side. What you will get? You will get that x y into y double dash plus x into y dash whole square minus y into y dash equal to zero. So this is the required differential equation of family of ellipses having foci on y-axis and center at origin.